Uh, the, the, there is, you see, the liberation of people from Nigeria. We have people in Yoruba fighting for liberation. Are they in jail? We have people from the north fighting that north. Are they in jail? People have fight for Araba. Are they in jail? We have people in your fighting for it. Are they in jail? Why is it that the evil person? The truth is this. Nandekanu, that's a constitutional process. You know, when a young man says he's liberating, you see, what Nandekanu is reacting, he's responding to the very, 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 very uh, serious indignation against the boys. Everybody in Nigeria today who know that Igbos have been discredited. Even a president in this country was bold enough to say that he is discriminated against us because we did vote for him. We gave him 5% vote. The president in this country, and you're telling me contradictory, what is contradictory? For example, was I came due to restructuring, but Chukwu didn't want to break away from Nigeria. He was the only one to break away. In Aburi, what Ojuku discussed with Gowan was restructuring of Nigeria to make it easier for Igbos to live in the country. But when they all agreed, but when Nigeria, when Gowan came to Nigeria, we were made to understand that Nigerians were advised not to accept it because restructuring it means giving the rich oil area to eastern Nigeria and the very rich. So they repeated it. I still remember in Biafra, everybody had a vest on a body we stand, on a body we stand. That on a body we stand didn't mean that we were Sicilian. Is that we want to be Nigerians. But with the restructured Nigeria, eventually that failed and we left to civil war. Where we in Igbo land lost over three million people. So Mr. Mayor Ministers were appointed, but eight ministers were appointed. We were given only five. In net now, National Executive Council, when it goes, for avoidance of doubt, we Igbos, we have not forgotten that our forebears played a major role in bringing independence to this country. We have not forgotten that we are playing a major role in shaping the educational economic destiny of this country. We have not forgotten that our young men and women are taking part in sports, even when it comes to military activities elsewhere. We have not forgotten that an evil man in Iran went to Congo and fought and brought glory. So we have met them, we have done everything to promote Nigeria. I don't see why we deserve this type of treatment. We don't deserve it. Through uh, young people there have said it. Igbos have said it, the Jaws have said it, even the Northerners have said it. So everybody says something is wrong. And if something is wrong, do we now say, want to tell me that it is good?